Hi friends, welcome back to Alice Play World, bringing you some more Heroes of the Storm. Uh, getting all the Master Skins, that's where you're seeing the obligatory Master Skin videos. A little bit of uh, maintenance right now before we start the game. Uh, I'm probably going to be gone, this is the last video you're going to see this week, because I'm going to Boston for work and whatnot. I'll be back Sunday, so I'll see you guys next week, but other than that, let's get into the game. Welcome to Black Hearts Bay. Enemy team Vala, Illidan, Kalfas, Lili, and Sergeant Hammer. Friendly team Sonia, Malfur, and Avatar, Lili, and Vala. Alright, uh, it looks like a pretty straightforward fight. I gotta be really, really scared of Kalfas and Illidan here. So, again, we're, uh, I wanna build multi shot though. So I, I could build smart, but I'm just gonna build what I wanna build and we'll see how that turns out. With that in mind, the first time we're going to be picking up Composite Arrows increases the range of multi-shot by 20%. That is our W ability, does damage in a cone. You can see the really, really big area. It's going to allow us to poke a little bit more. Normally, we're very limited with multi-shot if you go Hunger and Arrow and Aura Attack. Um, and we can't really do a lot of AoE damage, do a lot of single targets. This build is the idea to combat that. You see a lot higher damage numbers in Vala, although her burst is severely diminished. Our gear ability is called Hunger and Arrow. We fire an arrow. It's a skill shot, kind of, but it does home in. So if you get it close enough, it will attach to enemy heroes and hit them a couple times. Our gear ability is called Volt. We dash to target areas. It's a really good escape. And, of course, our trait is Hatred. Basic attacks grant a stack of Hatred up to 10. Each Hatred stack increasing basic attack damage by 2% and movement speed by 1%. So we probably want to be doing that all the time. Let's go ahead and lane here in the bottom lane. We do set a starting hammer. This is a problem, a little bit of a problem. We're going to try to poke, but this is going to be really difficult. It's really important that we push this lane as far as, uh, as far as possible to keep that range from actually getting in our faces. Uh, one of the things we don't want is hammer to be already in the mid when those chests spawn. Because that's going to make it really difficult for us to push back. So let's go ahead and just go in here and try to go really deep. You can see there we actually missed that Hungry Narrow, but we're going to be able to hurt him really badly and move him back. And now we need to try to get on this chest as fast as possible to try to get those coins before he gets out of here. I'm actually just going to engage on him right now and try to kill him. That's that's the only thing I got. Do as much damage as possible. As you see, I got really close to his face because I knew he was going to do the concussive blast. And then I was still going to be in range uh, in order to basically keep attacking him. I almost pick up the kill. He does walk away, but I get all five coins. It's exactly what we wanted. And now we're going to reposition ourselves back to the bottom lane and continue pushing. Let's go ahead and keep engaging on him. It's really important that we try to kill him. Um, again, Terran Hammer, really, really difficult thing to deal with as well, but you need to be really offensive. The problem is, oh, and there here comes a little, this is a problem too. Oh no, oh no, and we're going to vault to safety, okay. Uh, the problem with, uh, with this is that we, we basically just spent all our, our, all our damage, all our burst up front, trying to basically just zone him out, but now that Illidan's down here, we're going to need a little help, there's not much I can do, he's going to go hand in those coins. And need a little bit of help from Abathur would be ideal. I'm going to wait till these guys get cleared out. I'm sorry, Hammer should be repositioning shortly here on the Siege range, and then we can go actually in. But Abathur's not coming with me, which is a little bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and engage there really deeply, doing a lot of damage. Can we pick up the kill? No, we cannot. He does walk away. But Sonya now coming in from the other side. Might be able to get the jump on him if she can. That'd be really cool. But, all right, we're going to go ahead this way. No problem. She's going to get the kill. Although Illidan's here again, so we're going to try to juke a little bit. We don't have mana. We're not going to be able to actually vault out of here to safety. But we're barely going to get away. And now I'm going to go ahead and port home. And now that Sony is here protecting the bottom lane, getting that experience so we don't fall too far behind. At level 4, we're going to be picking up Arsenal, multi-shot launches grenades with the arrows, which is a really, really neat ability. It allows you to have a lot more AoE. The grenades are hard to land, which is why I suggest when you're doing this build, even though you have a longer range of multi-shot, you try to get really up close to people so you get the whole front of the grenades, unless you're trying to blanket an area, um, because the grenades are a little bit spread, so it's not like anybody hit within their multi-shot will get hit by the grenades. They actually have to get hit in line where the grenades would be. Uh, looks like Sonia is not gonna. I mean, you should stay down here with me, homegirl. We're gonna let's go try to kill it, and that would be a huge pickup for the friendly team if we can. Go ahead and jump on him, doing a ton of damage now that his um, evasion is gone. It looks like Sonia doesn't want to engage there anymore. We are gonna get engaged here by Kalthus. He does miss his uh, living bomb as I was the intended target, but uh, now we should be able to grab uh, these camps really quickly. Uh, I'm not in the bottom lane. Which means we're not getting XP there, so I want to go ahead and return as fast as possible to try to make sure that I'm getting at least the last little bit of this uh, this wave of experience. It looks like Abathur realized that we weren't there, so he does come here. I'm going to engage really deeply here in Sergeant Hammer. Again, the idea is to just blow him up as fast as possible so he feels forced to walk away and being like, Okay, I shouldn't stay there, Vala's going to kill me. And I think we did a pretty good job with that. Now with Abathur, okay, we're going to go... Ooh, right, that was a mistake. That was a big misplay by me. I'm going to get hit by the mines. And I need a little bit of help. Abby, not on my head again, which is a little disappointing. But it was a misplay because I used my escape to engage in Hammer. I didn't realize that Illidan was coming. And now they have seven coins. And now we're in a little bit of trouble. So we need to try to return to the middle lane. It looks like Tony's doing the correct thing and trying to keep an eye out. 
in case uh, Illidan is coming that way. I want to go ahead and try to go uh, go over there and help her out. It looks like she does hand in the coins. Good mind placement by Abathur. It's going to give us a little bit of vision, but we need to be really careful, really, really conscious that Illidan does have seven coins. He's about to hand those in. Let's go ahead and pick up a new talent. Uh, we're going to be picking up... Um, do -do -do -do. I, I like Caldrops. I think Caldrops are really, really good. Let's go ahead and engage there. Okay, finally, Abby does come to us. We're going to try to basically... Go oh, we're in a battle of trouble. <laughs> Oh, we're in so much trouble. We're trying to basically stall. The friendly team is really, really far away. It looks like the first bombardment is going to go to the enemy team. Not much we could have done. Now it's not the time, Alfurion. <laughs> you are a little too late, buddy. You're about 30 seconds too late. He looks like he's going to walk away. We should be fighting for these chests. It looks like we're now in any position to contest either one of those. On the top lane, Illidan and Gigi and Lili, she's going to be able to... She's going to be forced to walk away. And Sony is still killing these mercs, which again, I guess you're committed to them. But we lost all 10 coins. On both top or bottom, and the enemy team got a bombardment. So not a great start. They definitely have enough immediately to get a second bombardment. So what we need to do is... Okay, I'm going to just engage here as fast as possible. We need to kill her and hammer. And we do pick... Oh, Lily saves his life. That was so close. But really not worth this engagement anymore. Looks like the friendly team is not really understanding that. Let's go ahead and engage in the enemy bala. We need to poke her out. We need to keep our distance. And now we definitely need to defend this turn in because the enemy team is going to be able to do that. We are, we're in the worst of situations in the fact that we need to defend the turn in and we're two levels behind. Well, one level behind. Uh, which means we can't really let them hand this in, but we also got to stay in lane, which of course is impossible. So we're going to try to do our best. It looks like the enemy team is defending on the top lane. I don't know where Illidan is. Uh, who has the bulk of the coins. He did grab some coins down there in the bottom lane. I, I need some assistance, though. I, I can't protect this by myself. It looks like he should be coming in here relatively soon. There he is. Go ahead and engage there. Trying to be as much poke damage as we can. As you can see, there, the mines did miss because of the fact that he, um, he did uh, evade. But we can't really chase that kill. He might be walking into friendship. We, I know that we see a lot of enemies on the top lane. But I'm still not very comfortable. There's kill files. Right, we definitely need to pick up a kill. All right, let's go ahead and jump in here. Trying to do as much damage as possible. I guess I should switch to Kalthas, which means we do pick up the kill. But now we definitely need help. We're in a really bad spot as the enemy team is flanking us really well. Can we vault out of here? Yes, we can. And we barely get away, but our friendly Sony gets taken down. And we don't have any help from Lily or Abathur, seemingly. So, that is all she's going to write. We're going to grab a little bit of healing here and let the enemy team get the bombardment. Nothing I can do to stall there without killing myself. So, I'll just come here in the middle lane and try to get a little bit of XP. Trying to get that level 10... Uh, so we're in even ground. Remember, they can come in here and gank me. There's nothing stopping them because we don't have a fort in the top lane. So i got to be really careful about map presence uh, while I'm up here. We're going to be able to get a little bit of XP there. So I have coming down there. Malfurion getting facing the entire enemy team. We do know that they're down here in that giant camp. But again, not much we can do. The enemy team in a really good spot right now. Um, yeah, they're, they're just solid, solid lead. We barely just got our heroic abilities at level 10. It looks like they should be fine. Uh, normally, I would go for Rain of Vengeance, but I need to go for Strafe because I need to be able to move on out of there while doing a lot of damage. It's the only way that I'm going to continue to be a threat. It looks like the enemy team pushing this bottom lane really, really thoroughly on top of the bombardment. We're in a really bad spot. We're not going to be able to defend this if it's just Malfurion and myself. Let's go ahead and ask for a little bit of assistance. It looks like Malfurion is trying to engage there as deep as possible. We're going to basically just chase... But we don't want to chase too deeply. Remember, they do have a really, really scary members of the enemy team somewhere around here. So let's go ahead and just push the lane. Keep this as fresh back as we can. And we need to try to distract. Actually, that's the biggest thing. Because of the fact that our friendly Sony is in the top lane trying to solo that boss. So we need to try to put some pressure on him. Let's go ahead and engage in a little and wait for his evasion to wear off. And as soon as that wears off, let's go ahead and strafe and do as much damage as possible. And walk away with Lily as we do that. As you can see, that we actually do a ton of damage. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more damage. And we got a vault out of there, but we did take the living bomb, which means we're going to die. Not much we could have done. Malfurion did throw out the regrowth. Alas, it was not enough. And now they're in a really solid spot to kill this. Malfi might as well back up. We lost this forward. Nothing he can do about it. Uh, let's see how Sony is doing. She almost got has the boss done, which will be a little bit of an advantage. But we did lose all our forts already. That means the next bombardment is going straight for our keeps uh, and, uh, and and primary defensive structures, which is a really bad spot to be in. Let's look at stats really quickly. We do have the most damage out of everybody with 14,500 hero damage. But we only have three kills to the enemy eight. Uh, as far as Siege goes, it looks like Terran Hammer with 57 is doing a really good job of poking and destroying our stuff. And uh, who else is doing exceptional damage? Uh, but the enemy Val with 10,000 damage is really good too. So, alright, it looks like we did manage to actually save this here fort, which is a good idea. But, 
Again, not the best spot. It looks like Terry Hammer did go for this blockade nonsense talent. That's going to be something we need to keep an eye out for because it's going to make our life a living hell. I'm going to try to get these giants to get something going on the bottom lane. Not much else I got. We're still a little bit behind in experience, which is, means I shouldn't necessarily be doing this. But we need a little bit of containment on the bottom lane. Otherwise, the enemy team is going to have full map control. And that means chests. So every time a bottom lane chest spawns, if you have full control and vision of the lane, you're going to be able to steal that, no problem. We also got to keep in mind that the enemy Ellen might be going for these coins back here. So as soon as we grab these, we get a dip and go heal up because we do not have that much health. We do have a healing well, so we'll head, up, head that up and then go try to get some more coins. Oh, it looks like Ellen tried to hunt really deeply here on Abathur. Can I pick up the kill on him? It looks like we can. We basically punish him for that, but that was hilarious because Abathur gave vision due to the fact that he was being bombarded and Elodin dove in just for fun. But as you can see, the, the, the second difference on the spawning um, makes it so that it's actually not worth it for him. So he tried to do that to you know, punish Abathur, but in reality, he gives a little bit of an advantage. We're going to go down here to the bottom lane and try to kill Saren Hammer. Let's go ahead and pick up Frost Shot. Uh, that's exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and go really deep in here and just try to auto attack damage as fast as we can. We are going to wound him severely. And then, and now we get a bombardment of our own, and we might as well push this lane with it. We do get blinded by Lily. We got to be careful about that. We are also going to get hit by mines. We're going to try to clear out this lane as best as we can. I'm actually eating those mines on purpose so that uh, our minions don't eat them. But I think it's a, uh, it's too little, too late. All right, here comes Kelthas. This is the person we need to engage on. We're actually going to pop our strafe right on him. We're just trying to do as much damage as we can, and not trying to walk up uh, too, um, too predictably. Because of the fact that we know he was actually going to do a lot of damage. I'm trying to get healed here by my fear and this is not enough. He does get taken down as well as me. And uh, I guess Sonya died and didn't notice that. And Lily, somewhere over here. Somewhere over there. So we're in a... Again, we had a little bit of a comeback. The boss didn't look like he did a lot of damage. And Bombardment didn't kill this top keep. It, it's looking pretty dire for the friendly team. 21,000 hero damage. Still top by a large margin out of everybody. You can see this build does really well. At poking people, but again, four kills to thirteen. That's not the most effective damage. On the enemy team, Siren Hammer now uh, eclipsing Vala slightly with thirteen thousand three hundred hero damage. And Siege was Sergeant Siege, uh, Sergeant Siege, Sergeant Hammer still the boss here, as he is expected to be. She's expected to be sorry. So we're gonna go try to kill her. I mean, I need to kill her one time, man. That's all I need. I need to kill her one time. I'm gonna go super deep in here. Let's go ahead and just hungering arrow. And thanks to that, oh man, that was so close. Her first aid is really saving her life. Not much we can do. I should probably just stay over here and clear this out. It looks like we do have a mule, which is kind of neat. That's going to give us a little bit of survivability on the bottom lane. But these things are going to get destroyed anyway because of the cannons firing on them. Uh, maybe the bottom lane will survive. We're really far away from the front of the team. Not something we want to be doing right now. We need to try to stick together. It looks like the enemy team still has a lot of coins. I don't. I haven't been keeping track of their next environment, uh, how many coins it's going to be. But I reckon they probably have near to enough. Uh, of what they need. Well, we will have very few coins. It looks like Illidan is engaging there. That engagement attempt from Sonya was a good one, but she does miss as the roots get wasted. Good gravity laps from Kael'thas. Picks up our friendly team. And now we're in a bad spot. Let's go ahead and engage here. Trying to basically run away. We are going to use her strafe. It's going to be doing a lot of damage, but is it going to be enough? It does not look like it. We do pick up the kill on Vala. Let me go ahead and vault this way. We pick up the kill on Kael'thas. Multi-shot going down on Illidan. We do pick up the kill on him as well, but now I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm trying to get out of here as fast as I can. Bessar Hammer does pick me up, and that is all she wrote. Uh, three for four. Not quite worth it. Meanwhile, Abathur. Uh, does he have a monstrosity or a clone? I haven't even realized what he's been doing. He has a monstrosity which has been dead for a while, for a minute. Okay, so that's what's going on right now. Uh, just to, yeah, uh, for us a pro tip, when you're several levels behind, you probably want to keep your monstrosity alive feeding, and then you want to use it in team fights for the most part. It looks like Sopal did leave the game. Who is that? That's our Lili player. Um, so we have a bot on top of everything else, but we'll, we'll, we'll see if he comes back. At level 16, we're going to be picking up two charges of vault because we need to try to escape. Uh, it looks like this mouth one. Oh, yeah, 8,000 healing done by Mafirin. Actually, both our healers completely eclipsed by the enemy. Leader. So we have two supports. We are severely behind in the healing department. That also happens because of the fact that because they're winning team fights, he's actually healing them back up to full. So that's a little misleading, but it's still at the 13 minute mark. Neither one of those numbers are very impressive. Um, so, eh, we're going to try to go in here and save Sonia, who's being engaged by Illidan. Let's go ahead and just try to blow our cooldowns on trying to kill the enemy lady, but it looks like Kelthas is engaging us. We want to try to avoid that Phoenix team. The friendly team not really engaging wisely here. This is not a good spot, so we're going to have to be forced to get out of here because uh, that was just disastrous. So, mm, 
Okay, let's go ahead and, and heal up and try to defend here. The last stand, if you will. If we get a full team wipe on the enemy team right now, we're still in this. If not, this is going to be a good game. I don't see another way around it, though. Uh, let's go ahead and engage there on Illidan if you can. Do, do a little bit of poke damage because that's going to keep him a little bit low. We do have two volts now, but they don't. You can't use them consecutively. So they can't volt right away twice. Let's go ahead and engage on Illy. We do pick up the kill there. Okay, now it's a good time to try to go there. Hammer, as you can see, the hammer has a lot of mines. They're going to do a lot of damage to Malfurion. I can't really save his life, though. And now we need a little bit of help. Here's Lily. Okay, she, it looks like he's already attacking the, the core from there. I'm going to try to come in here. Oh, man, this is, this is devastating. Let's go ahead and vault away. I'm taking a little too much damage. Trying to basically poke a little bit, but we do get taken down. Lily going to die as well. Finally, Sonya coming down here. She's doing a lot of damage, but she's also taking a lot of damage. Thanks to Abby, she manages to get away. They're still alive. Wrath of the Berserker still active. She's going to heal up a little bit. The, the mule does go down. Lily's going to try to come in here. Blinding Wind is a really good thing. It's exactly what we needed. Sony engages. Good slam! But her hammer walks away, and the enemy lead with a jug of a thousand cups, healing her back up to full, which means this is pretty much good game. Not much the friendly team can do. 30 seconds till we spawn. Can they hold on? It does not seem like it. Arthur putting a lot of mines on the floor. They do get taken down, and now the Phoenix is going to basically sell the friendly team out. Still a two-level advantage, so strong. And Sonya jumps in there with a whirlwind. Strong performance, but she gets picked up a gravity lap and then blown up by the entire enemy team. And now they're just going to sit here and auto-attack. I don't even know where Illidan is, which is a scary thought. The fact that he's still out there lurking, waiting for us. It looks like our Lily popping her cooldown earlier, trying to keep Malfurion in the fight. Who's trying to do his best to do damage. We are coming back up here. Can we get enough damage? We're going to be able to vault in. Pick up the kill on Siren Hammer and then just spin to win with that strafe. Trying to get the kill on Lily. They do get picked out. Let's go ahead and engage on Illidan. Uh, we're going to vault away just to get a little bit more damage. We are also going to multi-shot. Here comes the damage on Ellie. Can we pick up the kill? Yes, we can. And now that is all we needed to do. No need to chase any further because Malfurion is actually going to get taken down there if he keeps doing that. That's not a great spot. Malfurion, what are you doing? Let's go ahead and pick up the kill on Kelpas before anything happened. But now we're at 17% health, core health. And uh, uh, barely level 20 with no keeps and no forts. So <laughs> Malfurion celebrates like, yeah, Boomkin. Well, uh, we do still have a keep. I didn't even realize that. All right, at level 20, uh, we're going to be picking up Vengeance. We need our strafe to be a little scarier if we can. I'm going to try to engage on these guys. I do not know if I have enough health. I'm actually going to ping for assistance. Maybe Abby can help me kill this thing real quick so I don't get too banked up. But... Uh, no, it doesn't look like I'm going to get any help. Hopefully, we can kill these guys. You can see there, we did hit, hit the grenades, which is a good sign. And now, we're going to try to kill this guy up and get some push going. Let's go ahead and help Levy here as well. We're so far behind, though. This is this is inconceivable that we make this comeback work. Inconceivable, I think. Uh, it looks like the enemy team is coming back to life. Do we have a healing? Of course not. Of course not. Uh, ugh. I'm going to try to hang out with Levy. Maybe she can heal me up to full since she has a lot of mana. I no doubt she probably took on full hustle, so that means she won't be minus starved later. Let's go ahead and auto attack this. I'm um, really just sort of standing in here and being like, come on, throw me throw me a Q, girl. Throw me a Q. It doesn't look like she wants to throw me a Q. That's quite a right. Seven. Okay. All right. We we don't have enough, but uh, <laughs> we're going to try. Hopefully, somebody has a coin somewhere. We can make this happen. Uh, it looks like our friendly Malfurion is the guy who has the coin, so we're going to try to zone out and get a bombardment for once. Uh, Malfi, what? Come on, man. <laughs> I need you to hand in those coins right now, and then we need to go top lane and try to defend. Why is he not doing it? Okay, okay, we're just gonna ignore it. <laughs> he could have handed in the coins three times by the time it took us to get up there, because they're getting, they need to kill the boss. So like we're gonna we're gonna engage after the fact that they engage. We don't really want to jump in there and face check it. it. Looks like Illy does find Lily. We're gonna try to do as much damage as possible, we're trying to poke him. Let's go ahead and strafe, just aiming for the kill right here on Kel'Thuz. Can we pick up the kill? Yes, we can. We do get stunned there, but we're going to be able to basically get away, trying to basically stay alive as Illidan does chase us, trying to juke left and right. Really good Moonfire from Alfirian. We do pick up the kill, and now it's time to chase. It looks like Sony in a lot of trouble. The Moonfire does go out. We do pick up the kill. Ton of coins in the Pinata. They do come out, and now we should kill that boss. That is what we need to do. Try to get this comeback coming. I Again, I'm not very, like, I'm not thinking this is actually going to happen. But we're going to fight our best to try to get the combat. We do get rooted there because we're not paying attention. I was looking at something else. It's not a good move right now. We're going to conserve a healer's mana, although they have full mana. So to be fair, should not be a problem. Plus the fact that Malfurion has Innervate, we should not be really um, struggling to get any mana. Let's go ahead and pick up uh, these coins since the enemy team is still dead for a while. And try to get more bombardments. The boss is a really good thing. It can be really nice. It looks like the friendly team wants to push. Uh, I actually don't think that's a great idea. Hmm. 
Well, maybe if we can get one more team fight and win, but we're still slightly behind experience. Depends. We haven't had the most, the best of luck with team fighting, so that's why I'm a little apprehensive. I thought we should probably just try to stay behind and try to push. But if you want to go for the boss, they want to go for a core kill right now. The enemy team does come back to life. Looks like Kelta's actually wasting his ultimate trying to zone out the boss. We can still hit the towers from this angle. We're still in a good spot. So it's actually not the greatest use of his ultimate. And we're going to be able to basically push down here really severely. Let's go ahead and try to engage. I need to stay within the Juggle of Thousand Cups. Let's go ahead and engage on, on uh, Kael'thas. Doing as much damage as you can. We got to back out, though, because that friendly Mibala does do that damage. Now I'm getting hunted. Let's go ahead and vault back this way. Trying to basically stay within range of our healers. We do pick up the kill on Illidan. We're also doing a ton of damage to Vala. Can we pick up the kill? We also throw out the multi-shot. Does a ton of damage, but nothing we can do. Looks like I'm fearing silences and then dies for absolutely no reason. And now I think we should probably get out. That's uh, all the damage we're going to be able to do. We still have a ton of coins. A lot to lose. So I'm just going to try to get out. It looks like Sonya is still trying to poke. Lily didn't understand what she was trying to do. And actually tries to save herself. But... Uh, we should just go. We should just go. Alright, Lily's gonna survive and <laughs> sacrifice herself for this. I don't know why I dismounted. That was rather silly. I actually accidentally misclicked something. Let's go ahead and back on out of here. How many coins do we have? Nine? Ugh. Okay, we need a little, a couple more coins. So let's get this done. I'll try to get a bombardment going. Because that's all we need right there. And now, the enemy team likely waiting at that uh, hand in spot, though. We're not in a really good spot. Um. Mm. Oh, there, here's the enemy Lily and the enemy Turning Hammer. They're going back to the base. I'm going to try to basically go down here and kill her. 68% of the core. Not a big deal. I'm going to try to come in from behind. Looks like Lily is chasing me severely. We're going to try to come in here. Here comes the kill. On oh, Turning Hammer. Can we pick up the kill? Yes, we can. We're going to actually spin to win just to pick up the kill on her, but it's not enough when we do get Pop the Pinata. Sonya coming in here at the last second. Finally understanding what was going on. Tries to go on Hammer. Does a good slam. Gets like a lot of damage. Here comes Malfurion not healing. There we go. I was like, you should pull a regrowth before you, Moonfire, my homie. But uh, it looks like we do strew out the enemy certain hammer. She does get killed, which is a little bit of a big deal. I shouldn't have gone down, though. It's a little sad. That mule bringing the core back to 82% health. Looking at stats, we have 58,000 hero damage done. That's a lot, but we have died seven times. The enemy, Kelthos, at 51,000. The friendly, now Fury actually at 40,000, doing a pretty good job. But uh, his healing is only at 25, which still combined with the enemy, with the friendly Lily, uh, is not enough to equal the enemy Lily. And as you can see, there's Siege, siege uh, Hammer, Sergeant Hammer, Siege Hammer. Sergeant Hammer still leading the pack there. It looks like we're trying to hand in some coins, not the greatest spot. They need to get the kill on Illy. This Malfurion is in a really bad spot. They, uh, this is a bad engagement. This is probably the game right here. As uh, Lily does get haunted, she doesn't have the jug of a thousand cups. She's trying to do damage. It looks like we do pick up the kill on Illy. And now Sonya's in a really, really bad spot. She needs to back out, but she does not. And that is all going to be all which they needed, actually. Because our core is almost at 100% health. I can't really go poke that in good faith. Um, I mean, I could, but I would just die. So I'm going to try to basically just clear out the lane a little bit. Uh, and just let them have the bombardment, man. Not much else we could have done there. This is going to be a loss. It was kind of epic for a second there. Almost looked like there was going to be a comeback in the air. But it's not going to be it. Looks like now we have Kael'thas and Illidan here as well. We're going to lose that bottom keep in all likely, uh, likelihood. And then they're going to start attacking here, the core. Let's go ahead and engage on Illy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just, now that his uh, evasion is gone, let's go ahead and strafe. We're going to pick up the kill on him and then pick up the kill on Kael'thas as well. And now the enemy team in a little bit of an awkward spot. Because they were pretty much uh, with the win, but now their damage dealers are gone. And it's a matter of me just basically zoning out Lily and starting Hammer. And this could be a thing that I do, although I should probably go back and heal before I go in there. Because uh, I don't have enough health. So as soon as I'm around 50% health, I'm going to jump in there and try to jump on Hammer, trying to pick up a kill. It looks like this comeback is still, still pretty much possible. Let's go ahead and engage here. I don't want to chase again. My point is to keep the core safe. If I try to fall too much with these healers, I'm likely to die. So we're going to wait for our teammates, get a couple, a little bit of breathing room there. And now it's just a matter of us uh, wiping the enemy team and getting all the coins. Uh, I don't see how that could possibly go wrong, right? It looks like they already grabbed the chest smartly. Uh, we might as well go for a core dive, I think, in a second. Um, yeah, I think we might as well go for a core dive. Uh, or at least some picks, because if we try to get camps, we're going to try to basically just keep this tug of war going. We're somehow miraculously back at one keep disadvantage. So if we can get a wipe here, or at least a couple picks, that would be huge. However, we're not in a really good spot to do that. Good silence from the friendly uh, uh, Malfurion, but we do get taken a lot of damage. We're trying to back out of here. 
We're taking a lot of damage. Here comes Illidan. Let's go ahead and spin to win. That's doing a lot of damage. Plus, those slams are actually going to put the enemy team in a lot of trouble. However, Kalthas does get a really, really good gravity lapse. And now we're back in this sort of poking position where we don't really know what else to do. We're going to have to wait for that Phoenix to come out. Uh, maybe gank push this out if we can. Uh, trying to get a pick on... That Kalthas is actually really daring. Go ahead and poke all of them and then back away. Uh, we definitely need a pick, man. There's not much we can do else here. Uh, not much else we can do. Let's go ahead and try to attack Illidan. He takes a lot of damage, plus that auto attack. Can we pick up the kill? Yes, we can. Switch into Kalthas. He's taking a lot of damage, but so are we. We're trying to get out of here. The cup of a thousand cups, the jug of a thousand cups comes out. And now we're in a little bit of trouble as we're very low. We're trying to push in here, but the enemy team actually, I think they are the ones who pull the, the minions on us. We're taking too much damage. We've got to back out of here. And now Sonia needs to be the one who retreats. It looks like we are going to get a little bit of damage. That Napalm lands right on me. And I do get taken down. Uh, Alright. <laughs> it looks like we do die. That's two kills to two kills. Again, we're still very much in this in the sense that the enemy team can definitely try to come. And I think this combo of Malfurion and Sonia could stall them. But in all likelihood, what they should do is probably get some camps right now. Because if they get wiped, this is going to go on forever. 25 minutes I believe I oh man I wish I could check when we lost our last keep I feel like it was a while ago the core it's already at 66% thanks to that mule who continues to repair they're only doing uh shield damage at the moment looks like Malfurion is going to be doing a little bit of damage they're really good roots so basically Siren Hammer gets completely destroyed that slam almost picks him up with a couple of thousand cu the cup the jug of a thousand cups it's so hard for me to pronounce that it's like some weird English uh voodoo Keeps them up. And now the enemy team are going to grab those uh, coins. They are likely to have 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So not enough to get a bombardment, but they can definitely kill, a clear a couple camps, and that should be enough. And now, where are we going? I think we should probably go defend this, I think. I think we should try to go wipe them. Another mule coming down. Um, it looks like well, the, enemy, the friendly team trying to get some camps first. Might as well do that. The thing is... They don't have enough, but uh, if we get them doing the coins, then they do have enough for us to do it. That would be a really good pick. So, mm, uh, I don't know about this play. This is, uh, yeah, they were definitely handing in, as you can see there, 13 to 22. Uh, so now we're going to try to come in here and do the boss. But likely, we're just going to have to try to bait, because the enemy team is just going to go around and grab coins. Like I said, they, they only need two more. Um... Uh, okay, well, I think that's probably going to be it because we're opting to go for the boss instead of actually going for the Cohen hand in, which means they're just going to get two. Although the enemy team actually opting to go push. Let's go ahead and back out and try to defend that. Looks like Malfurion well, already there. They only need two coins. Again, all they need is them distracting here and one guy to go kill camps, and then they should be gone. They should be golden. Going to try to engage through the back here on Siren Hammer. Let's go ahead and pick up the kill. Yes, we can. Thanks to that beautiful, beautiful ancient spear from the Friendly Sonia. And now we need to basically just come in here and protect. Uh, Lily keeps saying this boss thing, but again, we were two coins away from losing. And guess what? <laughs> Let's go ahead and, and do that. We do get picked up by that gravity lapse, and now we're forced back. However, really good engagement there from Sonya. We're going to try to do damage, but we're taking a lot of damage from that Phoenix on top of the Judge from Illidan. We do get taken down. Sonya trying to turn around and fight him. That first aid is too strong, though. And now the enemy team is just going to wipe us out here. A little bit of impatience is what causes the game there with the friendly Lili, because we basically were still very much in this. Unless, I mean, if they, if they can stall, but he's about to hand it in. Really good attack at the last second. Jug of a thousand cups. I said it right for once. Comes out trying to top everybody off. But again, this is a really bad engagement, because they're trying to basically poke uh, the guy who's out of the coins, which is not necessarily a guy that can kill. It looks like Illidan does get over his They do pick up the kill on him. Those are the coins. Now they need to kill Lili, and that should be enough. It looks like Sony engaging really well. Uh, there's no need to chase. All we need to do is hang out here for the next couple minutes. <laughs> Let them go get camps. It looks like the monstrosity actually getting all the way to the core with some catapults. They are going to go back that and rectify that. Those 17 seconds till we come back to life. And uh, maybe we can make this happen. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is going to be interesting. It looks like Sonya going down to try to get some camps. She can solve the boss, actually. That's probably the smartest thing to do. We don't have voice comm. So we can't really tell her to do that. But if she goes to solve the boss and then we just defend the coin hand in. Uh, they're likely to come poke. All we need to do is just basically stay alive, and then that boss should be able to push to the core for the win. I don't think they have a mule. Uh, you can see our core back to 100%. That mule is so annoying. <laughs> if you're not diligent about that, it looks like Lili coming in here. It's going to get attacked by the enemy Lili. We're going to try to kill Vala. This is going to what we're trying to do. 
I'm actually gonna spin to win right on her, trying to pick up a kill on her if I can. She's taking a lot of damage, we do pick up the kill, and that's actually a double kill. Giant moment right there for the friendly team. Illidan is alive, we need to try to keep an eye on the hand in, because, uh... Actually, Lily's one has two coins. That's all they need again, That's they just need two coins. Uh, I say let's go for core. I said, oh, let's let's get out of here. Is what I say. <laughs> let's let's get let's get out of here. All right, Sonya is coming back. Um, go ahead and grab these coins. Might as well since we're here. Again, if we can get a bombardment, that'd be really really big for the friendly team, as that is gonna basically make it so that they cannot grab the the bombardment themselves, and that is going to be 13. We just need one more coin. Oh my god, I can do this. I can make this happen. Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and engage on these guys really quickly. Trying to kill them as fast as possible. Trying to get that last coin. Get that bombardment going. And at the very least, we'll have a little bit of breathing room uh, as we come in here. It looks like uh, we're the only person with it. Yeah, Malfurion does not have enough. So I'm going to actually try to basically come in here and hand this in. It looks like Sonia do opts to go away. This is not a great spot for the friendly team. We had it pretty much, uh, but we're not in a great spot. Ooh, ooh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, we need a little bit of help. It looks like we're going to be able to bombard here and basically just stall for the moment being. Juggle of a Thousand Cups a little premature. Let's go ahead and engage on Illidan. This is going to be doing a lot of damage. For the most part, we're just zoning. And we're doing a ton of damage to Sergeant Hammer. And now I need to hand this in while the friendly team is zoning. But Malfurion does body block me. Come on, I just need to get the hand in going. I will go ahead and pink for danger so that they understand that I'm not with them. And we do get the bombardment. Really big pickup there. Now we're going to get rid of that last keep of theirs. And a little bit of a pesky atmosphere. Let's go ahead and engage there on Kael'thas. Going in deep and doing the multi shot, but we do get attacked here. Let's go ahead and vault out of that. So we're not taking too much damage. I mean, engaging Illidan, we do pick up the kill. He pops like a little coin pinata. And now I need to back out wisely. It looks like Sonya taking a lot of damage, but now she is all right. So we need to basically push right now. They have two friendly two enemy teams down. We're going to take that mine to the face in all likelihood. Uh, I think we should push this, this keep. Or at the very least, the core right now. We should end it. Oh my god, if this comeback though, if this happens, this will be huge. We've got to be careful though about engagement. Juggle a thousand cups does come out. We're going to try to clear out these guys and just go on the core as fast as we can. We do get a couple shots into the core. That's enough to get the shield. And this is, might be enough. Let's go ahead and pop our strafe to basically just zone out Lily. Be like, get out of here, girl. And we're going to auto attack the core. We're going to win! The comeback from behind, 103,000. Hero damage 26 and 9. My name is Al. Hope you enjoyed that video. Who knew that it was going to be a win? And I will see you all next time.